Welcome to Mythology and Fiction Explained, where we explore the stories and legends of the ancient world. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most famous and tragic figures in Greek mythology, Medusa, the snake-haired gorgon who could turn anyone who looked at her into stone. Medusa was not always a monster. She was once a beautiful maiden, the only mortal among the three Gorgon sisters, who lived in the farthest corner of the world. She was a devoted priestess of Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war, and vowed to remain pure and faithful to her patron. Medusa's beauty attracted many suitors, but she rejected them all. Her hair was especially admired, as it was said to be long, silky, and golden. Some even compared it to the rays of the sun. However, Medusa's beauty also caught the eye of Poseidon, the god of the sea, who was known for his lust and violence. He pursued Medusa relentlessly, but she resisted his advances. One day, he cornered her in Athena's temple, where she had sought refuge. There, he raped her, violating both her body and the sacred sanctuary of the goddess. Athena was furious when she learned of the desecration of her temple. However, instead of punishing Poseidon, who was her uncle and a powerful god, she turned her wrath on Medusa. She cursed her, transforming her hair into venomous snakes, and making her face so hideous that anyone who looked at her would be petrified. She also banished her from civilization, forcing her to wander the wilderness with her sisters, who shared her fate. Medusa became a bitter and lonely creature, hated and feared by all. She had no friends, no lovers, no hope. She could not even look at herself, as she would turn herself into stone. She could only see her reflection in the polished shield of Athena, which she kept as a reminder of her curse. Many warriors and heroes sought to kill Medusa, hoping to gain fame and glory. However, none of them succeeded, as they either fled in terror or fell victim to her gaze. Only one man managed to overcome the challenge, Perseus, the son of Zeus and Danae. Perseus was on a quest to save his mother from the tyrant king Polydectes, who wanted to marry her against her will. Polydectes sent Perseus to fetch the head of Medusa, thinking that he would never return. However, Perseus had the help of the gods, who favored him for his courage and piety. He received a sword from Zeus, a pair of winged sandals from Hermes, a helmet of invisibility from Hades, and a shield from Athena. He also consulted the Grii, the three old sisters who shared one eye and one tooth, and learned the location of the Gorgons. Perseus flew to the land of the Gorgons, where he found them sleeping. He approached Medusa cautiously, using the shield as a mirror to avoid looking at her directly. He then swung his sword and cut off her head, which still retained its power to turn anyone who looked at it into stone. As he did so, he was surprised to see two creatures emerge from Medusa's neck, a winged horse named Pegasus, and a giant warrior named Chrysor. They were the offspring of Poseidon and Medusa, conceived during the rape. Perseus took Pegasus as his mount, and left Chrysor to his own fate. Perseus then fled from the scene, as the other Gorgons woke up and chased him. He used the Helmet of Invisibility to escape, and flew back to his homeland. Along the way, he encountered many dangers and adventures, using Medusa's head as a weapon to overcome them. He also rescued Andromeda, a princess who was chained to a rock as a sacrifice to a sea monster. He fell in love with her, and married her after slaying the beast. When he finally returned to his mother, he found that Polydectes had not given up on his plan to marry her. He had even tried to force her, but she had taken refuge in a temple with her protector, Dictes. Perseus confronted Polydectes and his court, and revealed Medusa's head, turning them all into stone. He then gave the head to Athena, who placed it on her shield, as a symbol of her power and protection. Medusa's story is a tragic one, full of injustice and suffering. She was a victim of the gods' wrath, and a pawn in their schemes. She was also a symbol of the dangers of female beauty, and the male fear of it. However, she was also a source of wonder and inspiration, as her blood gave birth to marvelous creatures, and her head became a talisman of good and evil. She was a paradox, a mystery, a legend. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our other videos on mythology and fiction explained.